Scenes of joy and relief in Beijing as the good news reaches mission control from 320 million kilometres away. They had to wait through nine minutes of terror during a communication blackout before they knew the Tianwen-1 craft had landed safely on the red planet. We've been waiting for the landing since yesterday morning. We've been on edge and I've only slept an hour. China is now just the third country after the US and Soviet Union to land a spacecraft on Mars and just the second to successfully deploy a rover there. The rover is called Zhurong, uh, which means the god of fire in Chinese. Uh, it's matched with an orbiter called Tianwe, uh, which will act as a relay. The rover will spend 90 days exploring an ancient lake bed using seven different types of instruments, including groundbreaking radar to search for water under the surface. The whole goal of this mission, I think, is to firstly search for evidence of ancient life on Mars. Uh, so there's a possibility there that uh, water was there, certainly could still be there, and where there's water, there can be life. This is just the latest development that's making China a major player in the modern space race. Last month, China successfully launched the core module of its space station into orbit. It also has put two rovers on the moon and brought lunar samples back to Earth. Chinese are catching up in many areas in terms of the technology they're developing, uh, the Chinese want to be as the uh, leading space power of the 21st century, certainly by the middle of this century. Both the United States and China say they have long-term plans to send humans to Mars. NASA scientists believe the technology for such a mission could be ready by the late 2030s. And while the Chinese are playing catch-up, they're now one step closer to putting boots on the Martian surface. Bill Bertles, ABC News.